why do I have a bunch of cheap calculators on my table? That's because we're going to do a little investigation. It all started with this one, a Telstar CA4229, a very basic calculator that I've been using for a number of years now. Until recently when I accidentally knocked it off the table and it fell on the floor and it stopped working. It wouldn't power on. So I figured I must have broken something inside it, so I decided to take it apart. And I was shocked by what I found inside it. Now you may ask, why even bother trying to fix a calculator so cheap? Why wouldn't I just get a new one? Well, I like this one. I like the way the buttons feel, and it works fine. And I just was curious to see what's inside it. Either way, even if I wasn't able to fix it. On the back it says 2010. I don't know if that's the year it was made. But we'll open it up, and I'll show you what's inside. When I pop open the cover, you can see everything is on one chip but that's nothing new. Calculator has been doing that since the 70s. You can also see a battery and I always assumed this was a dual power calculator because even when I covered up what appears to be a solar cell it would still work. The display would not fade out like a solar cell only calculator. But you can see something funny here if I pull away the LCD and the circuit board. That's the so-called solar cell. It's just a plastic decal. There's nothing soldered to it. It's just a piece of plastic made to look like a solar cell. And I actually looked it up online and they call these in the industry dummy solar calculators. These things have gotten so cheap that they don't even put real solar cells in them anymore. So that's why I wanted to collect an assortment of similar cheap calculators and see how many, if all, or if any of these also have fake solar cells. So I found this one at work. It's a Victor 1100-2, unknown date, but probably from sometime in the 2000s. Then I went back to the same dollar store where I found this one. Well, they don't sell these anymore, but they do sell this. This basic eight-digit pocket calculator with flip cover. It says, auto power off, square root key, battery included. Ideal for school, home, and office. Well, 3004. Now, on this entire packaging, it doesn't mention anything about the solar cell. And in fact, I saw a similar model on the shelf where instead of a solar cell, it was just an indentation in the plastic case. You could see where the solar cell would go, but there was nothing installed, so they didn't even bother to put a fake solar cell on that model. But I got the one with the solar cell, which is probably going to be fake, but I'll see. Here's the receipt. Pocket calculator, $1.59. And the reason why these light bulbs are in the background, because they're still selling these not legal for U.S. sale Spanish incandescent light bulbs. So I was surprised to see that and I picked up a few Blanco Suave and Basic Op bulbs while I was there. The Dietz visit flash has nothing to do with the video, that's just for show. And if you're interested about that, I have a video about it. And then I found this one at the thrift store. It's still new in the packaging and it has a price tag of $1.99 from some unknown store, but I didn't pay that much. I actually paid a little bit more, but I was just curious to have another cheap calculator that I could put in this video and then I broke the bank on this one I went to stop and shop and it turns out they sell calculators under their own house brand smart living and I say I broke the bank on this one because it cost $6.99 so quite a bit more expensive than the other ones but you can see the same suspicious solar cell there it says battery power Full function memory, easy read, display, 8 digit. Also does not say anything about the solar cell on it. You can see distributed by Food Hold USA. Copyright 2015, made in China. Quality guaranteed or your money back. I wonder if they would get me my money back for having a fake solar cell. So we'll see what's up with that one. So here is the Victor calculator. And that's the initials of somebody who used to work for the company I work for. And he left this behind, so that's how I ended up with it. Took out the screws, so let's see what hidden mysteries are in this one. If I can uh, pop it open without breaking it. Let's 
putting up a fight for some reason. I don't know if it has some kind of clips, so I may have to get something to pry this open. There we go. So, there's the battery that came popped out and the LCD. And it actually has the solar cell wired. But that does not necessarily mean it is a real solar cell. I've heard some of these have a fake solar cell that's wired up to look like it's real, but it doesn't actually do anything. So I'm going to shine a bright light on this and measure the voltage it's putting out to see if it's actually doing anything. So I have this cordless light switch. It's a neat little thing I found at Ocean State Job Lot for five bucks. Looks just like a standard wall mount light switch. It has magnets on the back and a little hook to mount it. Except it has built-in LEDs that are extremely bright when you turn it on. So I'm going to put that down there and I'm going to shine those bright LEDs onto the solar cell of this calculator here. And I'm going to measure if it's putting out any voltage using my free Harbor Freight multimeter. Okay, let's see what we get. The solar cells marked positive and negative. So I'm going to put my leads on it. And look at that, it's putting out 1.6 volts. So this one actually has a real solar cell. Now, does it work just by the solar cell? Well, it kinda. I'm getting inconsistent. I may have actually broken the little cable when I was taking this apart, but you can see it was working. Oh, uh, that's our problem. The cable tore. Maybe if I hold it. Yeah. Okay, it's working just on the solar cell. So if I hadn't broken that cable, it would work just by the solar cell. You can see the battery that was in it is no longer, so whatever you see on the screen here is just through the solar cell. So this is a real solar cell calculator. So unfortunately I ruined this one in the process of investigating it, but at least I got a good real working solar cell and a good battery out of it. So it wasn't all for nothing. So let's tear into this basic pocket calculator. Actually comes with a little cover. <laughs> it's sort of falling apart already. Basic electronic calculator. I assume I can uh, sort of put that back together hopefully or just tear the whole cover off. First let's see if it works. There's a very tiny display. Does seem to be working. Has an off button. Which you don't normally see on calculators that have a solar cell because why would you need to turn it off? It doesn't take up any battery power if it's running from a solar cell. Let's try the old trick of the square root of 2 times the square root of 2. Now the answer is supposed to be obviously just 2 but on most of these cheap calculators it's a little bit off as you can see. So let's open this one up. It says use battery LR1130 1.5 volt and it even has a little holder for the battery so you don't have to take the whole thing apart to change the battery but we'll see what else is inside. So I took out the battery and yes I did actually break this cover trying to just get this calculator out of the packaging so not a good sign already and we'll see now it doesn't work without the battery in it so almost 100% sure that is a fake solar cell. I think we have a winner for the cheapest possible design on this one because as soon as I cracked the case open all the keys came loose. So that is just lovely. And here is our fake solar cell. Just a little plastic decal. 
So I don't think I'm even going to bother reassembling this one. It's just so cheap. I wouldn't want anybody to suffer through having to use this. So the only good thing we got out of that basic calculator is the battery. And I guess I can use this as a tray to hold the screws when I take the rest of them apart. So here is the Sentry and this one is actually stating right on the packaging solar with backup battery dual power so if this solar cell is fake this company has some explaining to do get down here it says dual power solar with battery so we'll see what we get with this one you can tell right away the packaging is higher quality than that basic calculator and ooh, this is like a Sinclair spectrum very rubbery mushy keys okay Oh, there it is. And that is a dim display, so probably the battery is getting weak. Because I don't know how long this was in that packaging. It doesn't have a date on it. Visit us online at centuryindustries.com. But it does work. Slowly, because it's on low power. Again, a little bit off of the two it's supposed to be. So we'll see what we get in this one. The only thing it says on the back is made in China. Okay, I removed the battery and it is working without the battery. So clearly that is a real solar cell, but I'm going to take it apart anyway. So there it is taken apart. You can see both the battery holder and the solar cell are wired up. So it is an actual solar cell to be sure. And I'm going to see this battery I took out of the basic will fit into this one. At least it'll be something good. There we go. There we go. Fully functional dual power calculator with a new battery in it. Now finally the deluxe model. The smart living calculator from Stop and Shop. Tear into this without breaking anything. It's not coming out easily. Let's put it on the back. Used battery. It says 2016 on it, so I guess that is the date of manufacture. Made in China. QC HN17. So apparently it passed quality control. Electronic calculator DC AG10 1.5 volt. And these buttons are kind of cheap and rough feeling. And I don't know what this is supposed to be. It has a cover over the display. You can peel that off right now. Nice and shiny, not likely to stay that way for long. So, we shall see what treasures lie inside this. Well, looky here, that does look like a real solar cell, or at least something that's actually wired up, but I'm puzzled by this diode here with the entire length of the leads just left in there and one side is tucked under the battery terminal the other side has this wire soldered to it but they just left the rest of this just hanging in here but that's just bizarre there's nothing back there for this to touch that would be conductive but that's just weird it has this big circle thing over where that weird cutout is on the front I don't know maybe they have a version of this with a speaker in it I know in China they do sell talking calculators that are roughly as cheap as this but they talk and they have a mode where you can play music on the keys maybe that's what they put in the same case as this I don't know but I'm going to see if there's any voltage coming out of that solar cell. Let me turn on my magic light here. So that's shining right onto that solar cell. I don't know the polarity, but I'll just wing it here. Since both wires are red, that's not a good sign as to which side is positive and which is negative. And it's putting out almost 2 volts. 
So that is a real solar cell. But that does beg the question, why wouldn't they advertise it as having a solar cell and dual power on the packaging? It doesn't say that anywhere. So, who knows. Let's do our square root of 2 test on this one. 2 root times 2 root equals typical 1.999998 instead of 2. Well, I just noticed it has a little icon that looks like the sun next to a icon of battery, so I guess that's their way of saying it's dual power. They could have written it out. I mean, they have plenty of space there. So the results of our experiment are a bit mixed. We have two calculators with fake solar cells, the Telstar and the Basic. And we have three calculators with real solar cells, the Victor, the Sentry, and the Smart Living. Although the Smart Living had that very questionable looking diode soldered in there. But wait, there's more. I have a late breaking addition to this video. I went to the thrift store again and I picked up not only disco tape number four, disco tape number one, and disco tape number six, recorded and produced by Mike Mangus, approximately in 1977. But I also got one of these infamous American flag big button big display calculators. You're pretty much guaranteed to find at least half a dozen of these in any thrift store you go to. Apparently this one was originally owned by Ms. Dorothy Sheehy. But uh, we'll see if this little solar cell is real or not. First let's see if this thing actually works. Yep. And this is not one of those cheap designs where if you take it apart the wrong way the buttons all go flying out. But luckily this time I was a little careful and they stayed in place. There you can see another fake solar cell, just a piece of plastic. Not even in there that tightly. There's that single chip calculator and single battery even though the compartment looks like it was originally intended to hold two batteries. They only put one in there. So these infamous big display calculators have a fake solar cell. So if you have some of these cheap calculators lying around, you might want to open them up and see if the solar cell in them is real or fake. You just gotta be careful of some of these really cheap ones because when you open them up, the keys will go flying and it'll be a nightmare to get those back in there. Yeah.